Researchers at MIT are developing a drug that has a strong potential for curing anyone of all viral infections and does so in a way that leaves little to no avenue for those viruses to develop a resistance to this treatment. Yes, this is true. If you find this as amazing as I do, share this with your friends. What is the drug called? Double-stranded RNA-activated caspase oligomerizers. Draco! To understand how this works, let's take a look at viruses. Viruses are much smaller than bacteria, and it is still debated whether or not they fit inside the definition of life. Outside of a host, viruses are completely dormant, and it is only when they come into contact with a cell that they take over that cell and use it to reproduce, which usually kills the cell. Now, have you ever heard of apoptosis? Apoptosis is the ability of a cell to trigger its own suicide. When a cell senses that it's going cancerous or is infected by a virus, it sacrifices itself for the good of the greater organism. <laughs> Unfortunately, many viruses have evolved a way to work around this detection system. Apoptosis also occurs for other reasons. In the womb, for example, apoptosis occurs between growing fingers and toes in order to create separate digits rather than one big meat mallet. Now, back to the MIT drug, which detects double-stranded RNA only found in cells infected by a virus, and triggers apoptosis in those cells, leaving healthy cells completely unaffected. Draco has been effective against all 15 viruses they've tested it against, including H1N1 influenza, polio, dengue fever, and the common cold. And in theory, it should work on all viruses. Here's a picture showing human cells, healthy ones up top, one untreated and one treated with Draco. Both look great. On the bottom are human cells infected with the rhinovirus. On the left, the untreated cells have been demolished, while on the right, Draco has eliminated the infection, leaving healthy tissue behind. Here is another example of monkey tissue infected with dengue fever. Now, this is all very exciting. Oh my god, yes! Yeah! <laughs> But Draco is still in its testing stages, and there are yet many questions left to be answered. Such as, if a very large amount of your body's cells are already infected with viruses, could Draco cause your body to explode? Oh, it's hot. Ooh. Oh, it's so hot. Oh. Or at least lead to organ failure or blood toxicity. And if this drug is overused, could it lead to a decrease in the human immune system's ability to combat viral infections without Draco. Every day, there are people out there like these MIT researchers who accomplish amazing things that alter the course of the world and their own lives. But they never would have accomplished these things without a strong sense of purpose. I'm missing Vampire Diaries. I'm stuck. I have a mission for you. As always, send images, video, and or written word of your accomplishment to Better World at Burning Questions Yes, BeverningQuestions.com. And replace those gosh darn U's with V's. <laughs> oh, and last week's participation was abysmal. But I still believe in you. <laughs> Y'all ready for this? Get a pen and paper. Write, the purpose of my life is, and fill in the rest. Repeat, changing and refining what you write each time. Keep going until you write the sentence that makes you cry. Then, you will have found your purpose. Though I have to admit that after an hour, I dropped that first line altogether, and my purpose turned into a 20-line manifesto. So... Around me, I see a world broken and diseased, filled with people too obsessed with their bank accounts and social statuses and substance addictions to let go of their own egos and see, like me, the beauty and suffering all around. But if they could, they'd be bound to change their ways, to rise on a wave of inspiration, to shout to all the men and women of the earth that now is the time to give up that overpowering lust for the material and to cultivate an appreciation for the sublime. Moreover, I know there's a woman wild and courageous and strong out there somewhere dedicating her entire being to a cause unknown to me. But we will find one another and unite. And together we will have the strength to go to any length just to show the people of the world how wonderful life can be when your guiding principle is love, not greed. 
And when we have children three to five or maybe twelve, we will teach them to lead noble, true, honest lives of meaning and purpose of their own design. And when we cross that boundary between life and death, our bodies will be lowered naked and unadulterated into the cold embrace of Mother Earth. Whereas we decompose from nose to toes, our souls will seep back into that soil from which we came. Oh, and if you think you might be her, send me a message. I feel dirty. <laughs>